Hey there, do you want to raise some rock drakes, but you don't want to go down into the irradiated and dark areas of vibration to find the eggs? Well, you're in luck because you can find them on Crystal Isles. My name's Colbert, and I'm going to show you where to get them. First, I do need to tell you that you cannot get the rock drake eggs from the official servers. Wildcard took the rock drakes out of the Crystal Isles when they made it an official map. But if you are on the unofficial server and the rock drakes and rock drake eggs have been coded in, then you can indeed get them on Crystal Isles. To find the rock drake nests, go to the floating isles roughly a coordinates 50 75 and looks for this huge cluster of orange crystals that are right in front of us and you'll see some waterfalls below it. Most of the nest spawn locations are inside a cave and I'll show you that in just a moment. First I want to show you that outside here by the waterfalls there are some spawn points. For instance here's a nest right here it does not have an egg in it at this time but that is what you're looking for right there. And if we look around here, we'll find a few more nests, I'm sure. There's one there. Now, I did see someone on a tropical wyvern here a little bit ago, so he might have been grabbing some eggs. But there's that nest, and then here's another nest down here. And this one actually has an egg in it. So this is what the rock drake eggs look like. Now I'm going to pick this up, but you need to be aware when you do pick them up, any rock drakes that are in the area are going to get aggro on you, and they're going to come after you uh, with a vengeance. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick it up, get back on my tapiara, and go airborne. I haven't actually seen any rock drakes for the past few moments, but they can actually be quite a few of them in this area. Getting into the cave to see the rest of the nest is actually very easy. You just want to line up underneath the huge cluster of crystals up there and you see this formation right in front of us with the waterfall. We're going to fly right down through that waterfall. And this brings us into the quite beautiful cave where you can find the rock drake nests. Now I've never seen anything spawn inside this cave, but things can wander in, including rock drakes, so you do want to kind of keep a, at least half an eye out. Okay, now we're going to make our way through the cave here looking for nest locations, and we're generally going to be following the left wall. There will be some on the right side, but if you follow the left wall, you'll find the majority of the nests. And here, straight ahead of us, I'll show you what the little alcoves look like. This is what you're looking for, and it'll have a black nest in it, just like we found outside. There is a lot of those little alcoves throughout this cave. Not all of them will have nests in them, but a fair number will. There's another one here, again with no nest. And then we can go through this, go through the ruins here and this tunnel. We'll come out in the main area where the, we can find the nests. And here we go. We've got another one here. have a cluster of them here to the left. Still none of them have eggs in it, but that's okay. There's a lot to choose from still. We're just going to cut through here. Some more alcoves. And then we're going to go right around this rock formation, this crystal formation rather. Ah, here we go. Here's a couple of those alcoves and they do have nests with eggs in them. Let's go ahead and grab those. 
to 190. That's nice. I like that. Grab this one. Sometimes flyers don't like to land in nests. Another 190. Excellent. Alright, now we're going to go back this way. Those are the clusters that we checked first, and then we made our way to the nest there. Now above that, we have some more nests to check out. Oh, here's another one. Here's another nest, but this one does not have an egg in it. Now we are going to continue that direction, but first, uh, there's a few more if we backtrack down this little tunnel here. There's some more alcoves that may yield eggs. And again, we're still along, generally along that left wall from when we came in the cave. There's two more eggs here in the alcoves. Let's grab those up. A 105. That one's going to be kibble. <laughs> oh, excuse me, There's there was three eggs here. Didn't see this third one. And my tapiera is not cooperating. There we go. third one okay now that we have those three all gathered up we're gonna go ahead and continue on That's the nest where I already grabbed an egg from. That was the empty one. We're just going to continue on through this passageway here. There's a few more alcoves, an empty nest. Another empty nest. Now once you get to this area where the ground opens up to a larger cavern then we're just gonna go across and there's two more alcoves which are both empty at the moment and then just to give you a sense of where we are we're back to that lower level where we grabbed eggs when we first came in we stayed low and grabbed those grab those eggs there and then we went up that direction you can see the alcoves in the background there now from here whenever you're ready to exit the cave there's a few ways out it can be kind of tough to find the waterfall that we first came through so the easiest thing to do is just turn right around and there's this huge opening here right back out into the floating aisles Hope this video helped you out. If it did, please let me know by clicking that thumbs up and good luck on your rock drake hunting.